Understanding the phrase, hand down. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to dive deep into a commonly used English phrase, hand down. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly when and how to use this expression. Let's get started. Before we dive into its idiomatic usage, let's understand its literal meaning. When you think of the words, hand, and down, you might imagine the act of giving something to someone by moving your hand downwards. And that's precisely it. Hand down can literally mean passing an object from one person to another, typically from an older person to a younger one or from someone in a higher position to someone in a lower position. Example, Sarah handed down the book to her little brother. In many cases, hand down is used in a figurative sense. This is especially true when talking about traditions, knowledge, or items that have been passed from one generation to another. Traditions and knowledge. When used in the context of traditions or knowledge, hand down means to pass on cultural practices, stories, or teachings. Example, my grandmother handed down her cookie recipe to my mother, who handed it down to me. Inherited items. Hand down can also refer to items, especially those of sentimental or monetary value, being passed on, usually within a family. Example, this necklace was handed down to me by my great-grandmother. Legal context. In the realm of law, judges hand down decisions, verdicts, or sentences, meaning they officially announce or give them. Example, the court handed down a 10-year sentence. While hand down is a versatile phrase, it's essential to use it appropriately. One common mistake is confusing it with handover which simply means to give something to someone without the implications of tradition or hierarchy. Example to avoid. Incorrect. He handed down the pen to me. Correct. He handed the pen to me. And there we have it. The phrase, hand down, is a beautiful example of how English blends literal and figurative meanings. Whether you're talking about passing on a cherished family heirloom or a court's decision, this phrase is incredibly handy. We hope this video shed light on its various uses. Remember, practice makes perfect. So try using hand down in your conversations. Until next time, happy learning.